Hundreds of thousands of people have died unnecessary deaths. And the question is why? There's something going on inside of us that is very exciting, mysterious, and people are now shifting their attitude towards understanding this, implicating the microbiome in virtually every function of the body. It's super far out. It's almost so, like, I'm way too scientific. At first I was like, no, that's some hippie stuff. No, it's real. It happens, and it's part of healthy soil. And you'll never see it in conventional agriculture. Ah! Huh? You're 92 years old. <laughs> Does that mean that you don't have diabetes anymore? I no longer have diabetes. Can you give us a rundown of this? <laughs> Just give me one sec, okay. We have to start to think of ourselves as part of an agroecological cycle. Only with that mentality are we going to actually leave something for our children and our grandchildren. Thank you. We can talk about healing the earth. The earth heals us. Look around us and see the beauty. The attitude that we're now developing is a much more humble and modest attitude where we essentially say we really don't understand nature, but we'll, we will listen to it in an unbiased way and we'll let the wisdom of, and the intelligence of nature tell us how it's working and, and how it's operating. We see now that we don't live in a linear world, that A causes B causes C. What in fact we live in is a complex network. It's a complex system where everything is related to everything else. It's that kind of thinking, the science of complex systems or adaptive complex systems that they determine our future. We're gradually killing ourselves off. People have to start realizing that we're all connected. I mean, including the creatures of the earth, including the plants, the aina, the land.